Where is the cheese? I don't know where the cheese is. I don't know where the cheese is. One. Where's the bank? I don't know where the bank is. Two. What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Three. Why were they crying? I don't know why they were crying. Four. When can he visit us? I don't know when he can visit us. Where are the plane tickets? I don't know where the plane tickets are. What was his license number? I don't know what his license number was. What are they arguing about? I don't know what they're arguing about. When will the bus from Chicago arrive? I don't know when the bus from Chicago will arrive. Who was the third Prime Minister of Canada? I don't know who the third Prime Minister of Canada was. How long have the Wilsons been married? I don't know how long the Wilsons have been married. How long has Alice been working here? I don't know how long Alice has been working here. Who should I vote for? I don't know who you should vote for. When is Santa Claus going to come? I don't know when Santa Claus is going to come. Other expressions. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm not sure. I have no idea. How should I know? Don't ask me. Where does Mr. Webster work? I don't know where Mr. Webster works. How much do eggs cost? I don't remember how much eggs cost. Why did Richard get fired? I'm not sure why he got fired. What time did the plane to Miami leave? I have no idea what time the plane to Miami left. How often does the ice cream truck come by? Don't ask me how often the ice cream truck comes by. Where did mom and dad get married? How should I know where mom and dad got married? What does this word mean? Don't ask me what this word means. What did we do in class yesterday? I have no idea what we did in class yesterday. Why do young people like such loud music? How should I know why young people like such loud music? Do you know what the homework assignment is? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should ask Ronald. He can tell you what the homework assignment is. Do you know how much this computer costs? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should talk to that salesperson. She can tell you how much it costs. Do you know where the restrooms are? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should ask that security guard. He can tell you where the restrooms are. Do you know when the train to Boston leaves? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should check with the ticket agent. He can tell you when the train to Boston leaves. Do you know how Grandma sprained her ankle? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should ask Grandpa. He can tell you how Grandma sprained her ankle. Do you know why I was fired? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should talk to the boss. He can tell you why you were fired. Do you know when my car will be ready? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should check with the mechanic. He can tell you when your car will be ready. Do you know when the Second World War began? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should ask your sister. She can tell you when the Second World War began. Do you know whose dog this is? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should ask the people next door. They can tell you whose dog this is. Do you know why Roger left work early today? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should talk with his supervisor. She can tell you why Roger left work early today. Do you know how long I have been here? I'm sorry, I don't know. You should ask your nurse. She can tell you how long you have been here. Asking for information. Do you know? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? Could you please tell me? Could you possibly tell me? Do you have any idea? Do you by any chance know? Rosemary Smith was robbed. Listen. Rosemary Smith was robbed about an hour ago while she was walking home from work. She's at the police station now and she's having some trouble giving information to the police. She knows that a man robbed her about an hour ago, but she simply can't remember any of the details. 
She doesn't know how tall the man was. She isn't sure how heavy he was. She can't remember what color hair he had. She has no idea what color eyes he had. She doesn't remember what he was wearing. She has forgotten what kind of car he was driving. She can't remember what color the car was. She has no idea what the license number was. And she doesn't even know how much money was taken. Poor Rosemary. The police want to help her, but she can't remember any of the details. Can you tell me how tall the man was? I'm sorry, I don't know how tall he was. Could you tell me how heavy he was? I don't remember how heavy he was. Do you have any idea what color hair he had? I'm sorry, I don't know what color hair he had. Do you by any chance know what color eyes he had? I'm sorry, I don't remember how, I don't remember what color eyes he had. Could you tell me what he was wearing? I don't know what he was wearing. Do you have any idea what kind of car he was driving? I don't remember what kind of car he was driving. Do you by any chance know what color the car was? No, I don't know what color the car was. Do you know what the license number was? I don't remember what the license number was. Do you by any chance know how much money was taken? How should I know how much money was taken? A surprise quiz. Listen. Mrs. Murphy is giving her students a surprise history quiz today. And Jeffrey isn't very happy about it. He has been absent for the past several days, and he's having a lot of trouble answering the questions. He doesn't know who the 19th President of the United States was. He isn't sure when the Civil War ended. He doesn't remember when California became a state. He has forgotten where George Washington was born. He can't remember how many people signed the Declaration of Independence. He doesn't know where Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. He has forgotten why Washington, D.C. was chosen as the capital. And he has no idea what Alexander Graham Bell invented. Jeffrey is very upset. He's sure he's going to fail Mrs. Murphy's surprise history quiz. Who knows who the 19th president of the United States was? I do. It was Rutherford B. Hayes. And who can tell me when the Civil War ended? I can. It ended in 1865. Does anyone know when California became a state? Yes, it became a state in 1850. Who remembers where George Washington was born? I remember. He was born in Virginia. Can anybody tell me how many people signed the Declaration of Independence? Yes. It was signed by 56 people. Who knows where Abraham Lincoln was assassinated? He was assassinated at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. And who can tell me why Washington, D.C. was chosen as the capital? It was chosen because the northern and southern states agreed it was a good location for the capital. And finally, who remembers what Alexander Graham Bell invented? I do. He invented the telephone.